Welcome to the Drunken Bear. We're here on Chapel Street and we're going to show Stop. you. Oh. Hello. Today Hi guys. there's no more hosting because we're going to hang with you guys in Chapel Street. This is such a different style of our videos. So it's about four kilometers long, Chapel Street, and so we're just gonna walk down it and just kind of, you guys can come along for the ride and just kind of see us walk down Chapel Street, which is one of the most famous streets in Melbourne, and we'll see where we end up. We are here, so we are definitely in Chapel Street. My favorite stuff, like cafes, bars, restaurants, they're all in Windsor. So it's a bit further, but I think on the way we'll find something so interesting. Let's go. So Chapel Street is actually quite posh. It's not our favorite place to go because the people can be quite... When you walk down here, they look you up and down to see what your latest fashion is. So that's the kind of aspect I don't really like about Chapel Street that much. But one good thing is that there's a lot of good bars and uh, cafes and things like that. If you do want to go more kind of grand shopping, there's a lot more on Chapel Street. So this is the retail section of Chapel Street. Uh, once you hit Paran or Windsor, um, I'll walk backwards here so it's a bit easier for you guys. Once you hit Paran or Windsor, it gets to be more bars and cafes and it gets a bit more interesting if fashion isn't your thing. But if fashion is your thing, then this is the section right here. This is it. This is it, guys. Okay, so now, guys, we're uh, near Jam Factory, which is just over there across the road. We watched the Muse concert here on our second date. We watched the Muse. But you that know, was so tame. it was tame because I've watched Muse live as well too and they're really like energetic and it was like the first I think 4k um, screening of a concert in a, <laughs> in a cinema anyway um, the concert was terrible the music volume was so low I think you could enjoy more Muse videos from YouTube videos in your bedroom. With headphones on, With yeah. With headphones on. Leave in the comments down below if you guys have ever watched a concert in a movie theatre. But we haven't seen any movies from that cinema. I'm sure it'll be good because the screen, as I remember, it was yeah, really it was big, big and well set up. Really, definitely worth to go for a movie. Yeah, for a, for movie. a movie. Go watch a movie at Jam Factory. Don't be silly like us. I was trying to, apparently this mural here is augmented reality as well too. So when you place your phone, you can see the augmented reality. But it's not working on this one. Or I don't know what I'm doing, which is probably more likely. This place looks pretty interesting. This is the first place I've stumbled across. I think maybe the cafe looks a bit interesting. So let's have a closer look. Here we are at Greville Street and Greville Street for me guys is really uh, probably my favorite street in all of the eastern suburbs. So it comes just off Chapel Street. Chapel Street's literally right there, about 10 paces that way. And back here, we've got Greville Street. And you know, one of the things I love about Greville Street is, sounds silly, but artificial grass. I'm absolutely just obsessed with artificial grass. I just like when a bar has artificial grass um, or AstroTurf, I think some people call it, or just any place that shouldn't have grass suddenly has grass, fake grass. I don't know, I'm obsessed. Is that weird? Let me know in the comments down below if you like grass. We're approaching the bar section now of Chapel Street. Um, so you'll start to see more and more bars and pubs out this way. Um, I've also noticed a place that we've been really wanting to go to, which is over the road, which is called Massive Wieners. And because they've got um, hot dogs that are like this big, so um, we might pop over there and show you guys that if we get hungry. How come you say it in an American accent? 
my massive wieners. Massive wieners. Sorry, I was. I just sometimes start talking in a more like American accent. And I just I can't help it, guys. Massive. Mm. Really yummy sausage. Mm. It's so good. Massive? Massive wiener. Mmm. I like strawberry milkshake. It's yummy. <laughs> this is so pink. I love it. If you thought um, we would go to a expensive restaurant in this chapter street, then you got this wrong. You maybe haven't watched our videos with uh, very notorious chips cakes. So here we have ten dollar hot dog, six dollar milkshake, and we haven't finished our journey. But you know, even if we are in the most expensive city or restaurant whatsoever we're gonna spend the least and that's just our cheesecake guide for you this place looks really relaxing actually with those sofas what do you reckon we might come back here playing good psychedelic music too good chairs definitely good chairs this is messina so it's quite um popular for kind of gelatory so this now we're coming up to the cafe district so um there's a bit more bars in that se section and here it's more kind of cafes so there's quite a lot of them and um, we'll show you them as we go we once had uh, an opportunity to live in chapel street but well it wasn't that good because I went to an inspection here and the house we are gonna stay was so filthy it was really bad it was terrible like yeah and also Chapel Street is really bright it's conveniently located it's got everything bars cafes um, shops um, supermarket everything you need but just it's expensive Funny thing is, yeah, there are so many shops and they are very, very luxurious sometimes. But there are lots of open shops too in Chapel Street. So sometimes we come here for kind of thrifting. Lord of the Fries is so popular in Melbourne. You'll see it um, in quite a few places. And do you know what's really yum? And you can also have the halal snack pack, which I definitely recommend you have when you're here. It's so yummy, like really, really yummy. You have to have the, the halal snack pack. So Rachel's doing her selfies. I got myself a beer here. Here we are at, um, I think this place is called Three Monkeys. I think so. Ugh. And the couches are so comfy here. <laughs> Incredibly comfy. I'm having a Carlton Draft. One of the most popular beers here in Melbourne. Mm, it's pretty good. And um, you'll find there's actually quite a lot of places on Chapel Street which have this kind of sofas. It's actually, there was about three of them that we passed. <laughs> So there was a lot of them. So they're all winter. Yeah. So if you really want to go to a like very really relaxing kind of um, bar, then there's a few of them here yeah. in Windsor. You can kind of do everything. You can do a whole date in Chapel Street because they've got great restaurants, cafes, bars, mm. um, shopping, movie theatre. Yeah, I guess everything. Called everything. Yeah. yeah, you could easily, easily spend a whole day on Chapel. In fact, really want to break it up into two days because there really, really is quite a lot you can do, especially if you try to go into every single place. Yeah, Chapel Street is really good for that kind of thing. 
as also it is famous for fashion, you could possibly see some celebrities in this side of Melbourne. That's true, that's true. That's exactly where you'll see them, it's walking down Chapel Street. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a like if you liked it. Um, we had a lot of fun on our adventure down Chapel Street with you guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Bye guys, see you next time.